All right, well, congratulations. How are you feeling after that performance? Uh, I feel really good. Uh, yeah, that's it. Is that how you expected the night to go for you? Uh, yes, 100% like that. So I knew I would have, uh, I think I spoke about that. So we would start to fight wrestling for the first four or five minutes. He would get tired and I would build up my way into my submission. Uh, I was uh, calling out the armbar. And I would do that, but during the fight, I felt so much power over him, and I didn't like him much, to be honest, the feeling. I was like, hey, I'm going to be a hassle if I just pin him for like five minutes and then get him a submission. Uh, so I ended up breaking him down from turtle, and my arm was all around his neck. That is why I was like shaking my head, like, fuck, what should I do? Like, should I, should I finish here? Or should I like, change my submission? And I ended up, okay, whatever. So I'm going to choke him and live my life. You mentioned you didn't want to be an asshole. Do you like this person particularly, or is this a new side of you that we're going to see where you're going to be hesitant to do these finishes? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I have nothing against him personally. We have uh, uh, close friends in common, uh, and I know he's a good person. But still, we are doing business, and this is my legacy. Against his legacy, I should do my best to build up my story. And, but when we were fighting, I felt so much power over him, so much control. I, I, I felt I could do whatever I, I, do whatever I want. And I didn't like much the feeling, to be honest, because I think it should be more equal. And I would be a hassle if I just pin someone, look at someone in, in the face, and then, okay, I'm going to just choke you right now because that is what I want. Then I was kind of like weird. I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm gonna choose a person I want to be a hassle because I. I think this is part of the business. But tonight was my plan and ended up not being anymore. So do you mean you felt like he wasn't at your level in terms of? Nobody's on my level. Okay. Well, he was he uh, lower level than you had expected. Were there surprises in there? Were you surprised that you felt that power over him? Uh, I'm not surprised. I think it would. It was part of the process. So the last two guys I fought, Nogi, uh, besides Mateos, they were the top three guys in the world and I literally made them look like hobbyists uh, because my level is far away from the second best. I know people are still calling me out. People are still like trying like to uh, take shots, but I'm not doing the same sport. So what, I, what I've been saying since forever, I'm going to be one of the greatest ever uh, uh, to ever do jiu-jitsu. Uh, this is 100% accurate. I'm going to this direction, and that is what I'm gonna I'm gonna be in the near future. I think I'm there already. Technically, I just need to prove more, win more. And when I double go to HCC, people will put me aside, Gordon Ryan and Haji Gracie. Uh, and I'm here, and the third guy in the world, because I'm the second besides Gordon. It's down here. Like I tap Kaina in 11 minutes. I tap Pena in 11 minutes. So today, five, six. I didn't pay attention. It's just a different sport. I'm playing a different sport. Yesterday, uh, you spoke about, is there somebody coming in you didn't like you giving a look? Um, yesterday, we spoke about how you were potentially going to fight Mason Fowler next. But when they asked you on stage who you wanted to fight, you didn't mention him. So I'm curious, did something happen? And did you see something in his fight that you lost interest? Or were you never really all that interested? Or uh, I'm still looking to fight him, for sure. Uh, he's a guy that sometimes do great, sometimes not. So I think his performance against Pedro wasn't that good. He got submission, but like was late on the overtime. Uh, he has a solid brand in America. I think it's going to be good for me. Uh, I, I just want to right now make moves where my brand will spread out instead of just getting another victory. Uh, and I want to also have Craig Jones and Nick Rod. I think Craig Jones, Nick Rod, Mason, and I want to fight against uh, Kaina one more time because I'm still thinking he is the top three guy in the world. He just won IBGF Grand Prix, and uh, I know his brand is not as huge as the other names that we are talking about, but he definitely smoked all the other guys. So if there is someone that deserves a spot, it's Kaina, not Craig, not Nick, not Victor Hugo, not Mason. They're just good for the business. They're good for UFC. But they're not high challenge opponents. So if you had to pick one of those names, for if, you had, if they said it's your choice, you can fight who you Craig want. Craig Jones. Well, how do you think that would go? So I lost for him, ATC. Uh, it was a fight back-to-back. -back. He, he 
did a better job than me. He deserved the victory. I'm not taking his credit out. But I had only five months training in Ogi. My wrestling was sucks. My top position was terrible. My guard was like literally like nothing. And I think he would pull guard after I my wrestling because he normally pull guard. I would go side to side and find my way to go straight to his back and then finish him rear naked choke or any other type of uh, uh, choke from back. Uh, he knows that. And uh, he also believes that I am going to finish him if we compete. That is why he's not signing a deal to fight against me. Uh, he's pushing Nick Rod, but Nick Rod just had a war against Roberto Jimenez because his skill level is not there yet. He can possibly become a champion, but he's not a champion. He's just an American guy who has a solid brand here, but has no titles. Uh, when he becomes a champion, I can give him a chance right away. But as he's not a champion yet, he's just someone that always loses in finals. Uh, I want to use his brand to catch Craig Jones. If I have a shot against Craig Jones, I can sign a, a deal to fight Nick Rod. Otherwise, I'm not going to face him right now, but uh, eventually ADCC, if he makes into the finals. So, yeah. And no, you didn't see the main event because you asked us what happened, but were you surprised to hear that Craig Jones won or the, the method he won? No, I'm not surprised. Craig Jones is pretty tough. He's a tough guy. Like, he never won any major third title. Uh, we have not friends in common because people that are on my side, they're not friends anymore of Craig, but uh, everybody speaks highly about his jiu-jitsu skill. And also, I, when I watch Craig compete, I can tell like his stuff at jiu-jitsu, he knows what he's doing. He's just mentally weak when there is some hard moment, like like tough uh, 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 situation, like a final in a, in, a, in a really big stage, like HCC or, or any other big fight going on. But he's definitely, like he's technically really good. Like he's one of the best guys in the game for sure. But mentally he's not as tough as the other guys who has a lower skill level, but can handle pressure pretty well. So that is why Kaina, Kaina Duarte, every time he fights Craig Jones, he just smokes Craig Jones so bad. Craig Jones looks like a child, but in skill level, Craig Jones is way better than Kaina. But when they go to stage, Craig Jones just collapses. What do you think of Craig Jones's uh, personality? Because he's a little... He's really funny. He does well, bro. Like, he definitely is, is going to be a guy that when he retires Jiu-Jitsu, he can be stand-up comment. How can I say that? Yeah, he's pretty smart. Yeah, that's true. Like, he's fucking funny, bro. Yeah, uh, I like his, his Instagram. So I don't have Instagram anymore, I follow zero people. Uh, but every time someone send me his stuff, I was like, fuck, like, you're fucking smart, bro. Like, you do well. Like, he does well. Thank you. Nick, to your left. Um, yeah, of course. You made it obvious on the mat and on the mic that you believe that you can do anything when you want, that you're the best, you're the greatest. So with that mentality in mind and feeling... I'm not proving enough? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> What do you feel is the challenges next for you to continue to prove that, but more importantly, for yourself to continue um, having that fire burning deep inside? Uh, as I said in the, on the other interview, my challenge right now, it's not against opponents. My challenge right now is against jiu-jitsu. I want to keep involving as an athlete and seeing the game and as an overall toe where I need to fix every, every little gap that I have. Uh, and I think winning more titles and finish HCC as a double gold and a high submission rate and that is what I'm gonna do there because today I fought for five minutes and I got my submission pretty easy. HCC I have most of the fights and into the final 15 minutes to work which is gonna be pretty easy for me like I tap kinda and penna in 11 and I have finals in third I have 30 minutes to work on, on the finals match. So it means I will tap everybody out. I'm gonna have eight matches. I'm gonna have eight submissions. I'm gonna have probably the highest uh, high gas submission rate out there, and then I will reach the spot I won as an athlete, one of the greatest of all times, and yeah, pretty much that. But until until there, I I, I'm, I just want to work as hard as possible, uh, and keep following this ideal world where perfection is the only answer. I'm curious about your thoughts on on this next question and quote here. Um, Obviously, you mentioned how Craig Jones, you think you find very funny. He should be a stand -up comedian after he's done. Um, but after his fight, he has said that, in lack of a better term, he said that you had a shitty performance. Now that you have him at the top of your list of who you want um, to grapple against next. I had a shitty performance against who? My, Just my now. That's what he said. That's his words. Ah, for the guy that 
bit him. Okay, that makes sense. So no, but he's always making thoughts. funny. That, 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 that is about the point. Like, Craig, he's always making funny about everything. So it's never a true answer. It's always something behind, like. Awesome. And then last thing for me. Um, actually, that's it. Thank you. That's it? All right. Huh? No, no, keep going, keep going. I keep talking. You're good. I answer your question? You answered my question. And no, like, like he, he's always, he's never, uh, this is what's funny about him. Like, he knows how to involve people. Do you know what I mean? Like, and he's involving people in that answer. Like, he's performed, like, he had a shitty performance, bro. Like, I, how can I do better? Like, this is, this is my mind right now. When, I, when I'm competing people, I'm always thinking, how can I do better? And if people are still thinking I can do better, I need to bring a knife to the stage and kill someone out there because there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing better to do. Like, to be honest, what, what else can I do? Like, control people, pin and finish, like, without breaking sweat? Like, how can I do better? It's literally that, you know? Then do you feel like blocking out that ex external noise, not only um, removing yourself off of Instagram, but everything like that has allowed you to have a better peace of mind and accomplishing those goals quicker? Uh, I don't know yet. So that move uh, I just did was like three weeks ago, and my life is getting better. So I'm very I'm, – I'm, I'm, I know how to handle pressure and perform well, but I'm a very emotional person, so I feel everything, whatever you tell me. Sometimes I observe, sometimes not, and I feel like staying away from Instagram, focus on my uh, career, uh, my training, my diet, uh, my family, my girl, like things that makes me feel good. Uh, it's been better, and I want to stick to this uh, uh, style, I want to wait to see, because I, I kind of hate social media. So a bunch of like fake people, exchanging likes, comments, and blue checks. Like, fuck that shit, bro. I just want to have power, win titles, make money, and be happy with, with people who love me and support who I am. Absolutely, and you probably just touched on it uh, as in the things that you love. Was there any other changes as of the last few weeks that you've made so that you can keep that peace of mind and continue progressing forward in a better way? Uh, Instagram, for sure, is the top one. And I think I'm trying to think more about my family and be as close as possible. So I had two years living in America without seeing my family when I first moved because I had complications with my visa. But right now, by having them closer to me, it's definitely reminding me who I am daily. So that is what I want to I, I, I wanna do. I want to be a better, uh, 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 better son to my parents, a better sibling to my, to my siblings, and a better man for those who appreciate who I am. Well, with that being said, as you take a look at trying to better yourself, not only for yourself, but for others and the, those that you love around you, how important is it to utilize this platform that you have then? Utilize what? Sorry? How important is it to utilize this pa uh, platform that you have talking on the mic, talking to thousands, millions of people watching on this platform? I, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't get your question. <laughs> no, you're all good. How important is it to utilize the platform talking about the things that really matter beyond just the mat and the ground? Uh, I, I don't know, man, like, uh, I think after you leave a little bit social media and understand the voice you have to share things with people, you kind of, this is, this is my approach nowadays. I'm not like caring anymore. I'm just seeing how I feel and what I think. And if it's helping, it's helping. If it's being like not positive thing, it also can, can be, be a damage to someone. So I cannot like charge my, charge myself to be a good person because I can, I, I can just be who I am. So I'm just sharing whatever I feel and the way I'm living my life. And if I'm adding to your life, perfect. If I'm not, just move on, find another example. I'm not trying to be nobody, just Nicholas Mergali. Congrats on the win.